I bought Baker Creek black strawberry tomatoes and started them from seed in toilet paper tubes. We will be hitting growing highlights, harvesting, tasting, and reviewing. Stick around till the end for the real scoop on this variety. But first, let me welcome you. watered our hole and I'm gonna put this strawberry in here the black strawberry and the result is gonna be right here all nice firmly padded in to some really good soil and constantly cold composting out here I've got this down here at soil level you can see the rim of the toilet paper tube black strawberry and she has had her first haircut, her first trimming. Absolutely use your scissors. I'm not really seeing fruit set on here. So I did not get too generous with my trimming. I was a little bit conservative here because I don't know what's up with this tomato plant yet and how the fruit set develops. If it's going to develop separately or within an actual leaf like a black Rim is but I still needed to get those leaves off of the soil so that none of the disease or bacteria in that soil could get into the leaves that were on the ground and could get into the stem and affect the whole entire tomato plant guys it's July 5th I'm looking at the pink one black strawberry and can you see that fruit set right dead in the center Excellent. And here is her first one. You can see some of the pigmentation at the bottom there. Oh, and look who joined us. Fifi. Gorgeous. That is already starting off to be. Look at these huge clusters right here. And as it keeps growing, I keep pruning. I come out about once a week, anywhere from five to seven days, really kind of depends on the growth. It is July 27th and we are looking at this beautifully striped black strawberry tomato. This is going to be an excellent cluster for us. And they just keep coming. August 7th, we're looking at black strawberry. We're getting some lovely development here. And at the back side of black strawberry, you can definitely see more of that reddish hue starting to appear. Today, we're getting a lot more red showing up in the black strawberry. It is exciting. Right, it is the 18th of August. I have waited so long for these. We have got a great little cush. So I'm gonna harvest this one. It. And this one also has a fantastic little cush on her. And I'm going to get the smaller one. Now look at how much smaller that is. I love that you can kind of get two little sizes on one plant. Good cush. Excellent. It's August 22nd and we are looking at our black strawberry tomato. Look at that beautiful color in there. You can see a little bit of orangish in here. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of a harvest. Oh, look at these colors down here. And let's do a cush test. Okay, it's nice and cushy. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Excellent. And this here. Yep, just as cushy. This one came right off. Look at that one. Excellent. And I'm gonna get this one down here hiding. That one still feels a little bit firm. And you can see by the color, it's not quite as vibrant as this red is. And now let's come up here. 
I want to give that one another day. 26th of August, and we're going to look at black strawberry. I got them all nice and cut up and laid out for us. I do love how there's two different sizes, kind of the small tomato here. And then we have, I would say, kind of a normal size cherry tomato. And you can see with the bigger ones how the skins, these black shoulders, are a little bit more crisp. When you cut them, you'll notice the difference between that and this cherry size. But are they not absolutely gorgeous? It's got a little bit of gold in there. I haven't had any that looks like the catalog picture yet, but we will see. So let me try one of these cherry ones. And these two I cut through the middle. The rest of them I cut up and down. So you have a nice look at what's going on in here. They look like they're gonna be spectacular, do they not? They are deep red. They look like they're saturated in red. At least these bigger ones do. Um, these ones look just a little bit lighter, but it could be how we're cutting them. So I'm gonna try this one here. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. And can you hear? You can kind of hear a little bit of that crisp skin. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna try this one here, which is closest to the shoulder, and I wanna see how crisp this skin is gonna be. Sorry, hope I didn't gross you out. They, they're about the same crispness, really. All right, these are delicious. Right, I do want you to notice this is not very thick walled at all. And you, it doesn't taste like you're biting into a thick wall either. So I want to make sure I say that because that's important to some people, particularly me. So I went ahead and I salted these and I wanna have another taste test with it salted because I like salt. Mm. Oh, that's very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. Oh, that's the best with salt. All mm, right. 28th of August, and look at all of these. And listen to that cricket. All right. I'm going to do some more harvesting of these delicious, juicy, acidic-tasting tomatoes. What a fantastic flavor on them. I love that they come in the two different sizes. I know I've said it before, but man, that's nice. These gorgeous black strawberry tomatoes. Right. Also, got some of these blue cream berries. Nope, that one's not quite ready. These two in the back are ready, though. Quite dark. September 1st today and we are going to look at this black strawberry tomato review. I'm looking at Baker Creek. This was 2022 catalog. It was the 25th anniversary and this picture is what made me want to buy from them. Uh, I also got a couple more so they have fantastic photos in there because I figure if I'm going to go ahead and grow these I might as well try a few others that suit my fancy here. You can see some of my harvest. Just a snapshot in time for this week. This is a giant Belgium, already had this on hand, and the 4th of July. So looking at their seed packet, I'm not really seeing um, something like this. I'm not seeing those purpley, almost fuchsia looking colors there. I'm just not seeing that here. I got um, some of these that have some striations of golden also here. And even if you look in the picture, I'm not seeing what they are showing here. So here they are. Do you see anything like that? I don't, and this is about the fourth time that I've picked them. I have not found any of those. 
Otherwise, I would have been pleased as punch to have gotten them. So let's just look real quick. We did have a lot of different rain going on. So there is just a little bit of slight cracking in some of these, and it's no big deal. I just cut on the crack and move on, really. But yeah, I don't see any. If um, I get any for the rest of the season, I'm going to flash you a picture of them. But I want you to assume, if I don't do that, that this is not what I got at all. So let's look at the back of the seed packet. This first line, 60 days, one ounce fruit is marbled blue, scarlet, and gold. Okay. I'm not seeing any blue here. I see some nice dark shoulders, which kind of reminds me a little bit of the blue beauty that I grew. I also see a pretty little star pattern in the middle of this. Okay, here we are on YouTube. I just searched blue beauty tomato. This is mine. You can see Bren in the garden here. It is 25 minutes. We cover a lot in this video. But this is on the specific variety of Blue Beauty Tomato, okay? Blue is the key thing that I want to talk about here. When we look at the shoulders, they have very dark shoulders. And they do have like a little bit of like a um, gradient look that goes down. But if you look here, this looks like a bluish color. When we're talking about the black strawberry tomato, the shoulders on that don't have a blue hue to me. They have black, hence black strawberry. But when you're reading the back of the packet, the first thing it mentions is blue, and then it also talks about pink, which I did not see on that tomato at all, and I'm talking about black strawberry, not blue beauty. I'm just using this blue as a reference here. And it also mentions purple, which I do not see on the black strawberry at all. Maybe that's why it's called black strawberry. So black strawberry, new, 60 days, fantastic. Sugar, sweet, tomato flavor that is fruity. I didn't really taste fruity with a hint of grape and plum. I didn't really taste that either. If you relish the experience of digging into a bowl of high quality cocktail tomatoes, then the black strawberry is your tomato. I found these to be incredibly tasty, so I would um, agree with high quality. This two ounce fruit is marbled in purple, pink, green, and gold. Yeah, I'm not seeing the purple at all, and I would have loved to have seen that purple because that was the main driving point of me to buy this. A bowl full resembles a luminous and luxurious bunch of gems. <laughs> um, you've you've got to love these seed companies, the way they really know how to razzle-dazzle you. And indeed, the flavor is decadent and indulgent with perfectly balanced sweet and tart flavors. I didn't really get sweet. I got um, acidic and juicy and I thought it was delicious. This extremely productive and early variety, I'll very much agree with early. Variety is an obvious choice for gardeners and market farmers who want rugged, I wouldn't say these are rugged, who want rugged, early producing plants, but do not want to sacrifice eating quality. This variety produces much diversity in color. I don't agree with that so far. And some plants may produce grape shaped fruits. One of the best selling tomatoes we have tried. Packet, 10 seeds, $4. Okay, so their best Oh, one of the best tasting tomatoes we have tried. Okay, so nature's flavorsome jewels, sugar, sweet taste, incredible beauty is the selling point here. Okay, so let me come over here and let you know that this actually was developed by J&L Gardens. They cross this between a strawberry tiger and a boss key blue. 
I also found it very interesting when I was doing some seed saving. And even if they're not an heirloom, I'll still save the seeds the first year when they're the closest to the parent. And I will try to get as many as I possibly can. Up top here were these little teeny tiny ones. So these cherry looking ones. Down at the bottom were these much bigger tomatoes. And these I found to be the juiciest, kind of the most flavorful. And you can tell in the pigment. Look at how red this is compared to up top. So I found that to be quite interesting. So all in all, would I recommend this tomato? Yeah, it tastes really good. It grew pretty well for me. It, if you're expecting to get this, I didn't get that. If there's a trick to getting these colors in your soil, they're not telling us. And they're also not telling us on the back of the packet, but I really doubt it. It has to be within the tomato to deliver this color. If you've ever grown and like this right here, here's Berkeley tie-dye. Was there a trick for me to get this in here? No, it is part of the actual seed. It's part of what is innately in there. Um, yeah, I didn't get these. So I'm going to assume that they were kind of cherry picked and photoed like that. So just so you know, moving forward, if you're looking exclusively just to get this look because you are looking at a chef's garden, more than likely, this is what you're going to get. I'm going to go ahead and pick a few more of these black strawberries that are ready to be picked. That one looks pretty. It's nothing like what they had Oop, in the actual catalog. That one looks good too. So it is Christmas. I'm actually editing this video at this point. And I did watch, I would say maybe about five to six videos on this black strawberry tomato. And they kind of look the same as what I got. This one looks like it has a little bit more yellowing through here, like more splotchy dottiness. But this looks like a good representation of what I got and it has a good amount on this plate. It's only three minutes by this um, tomato reviews, pictures, and more fella. If you would also like to watch that so that you can see what I am saying to you is pretty much representative across the board of all of these videos that I watched on this. It just isn't as purple as this. It isn't as rustic as this. It isn't as variegated and as colorful as what they have here in the actual catalog. Because this is not what I got here at all. That's also not what is happening in this video. It pretty much looks like mine, except of course, there's a little bit more yellowing here. I, I'm not seeing what Baker's Creep, Creek, <laughs> Creek. <laughs> I'm not seeing what Baker's Creek had represented in the catalog here. So this video here, she took one seed and got this plant. Uh, so, I mean, she has quite an abundance here, but I'm not seeing the color as described. It does look a little bit more yellowy and blotchy than what we have in this. So I want to encourage you to come in here and just search black strawberry tomato. There's probably about 10 to 12 of these and you can see they're not very long. See for yourself, they do taste good, but if you are buying these solely based on this picture here and that is the look that you want, more than likely you're probably not going to get that look. If you do, it's probably going to be a real oddity. If you are looking for a tomato growing requirements and guideline video, that will be in the six new Baker Creek tomato variety video. I will attach that at the end for you and hopefully you will see another variety you'd like to grow for yourself. 
all six varieties will have their own separate video and time in the spotlight, much like you are experiencing now with this specific tomato variety video. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.